What's up guys? Welcome back to the Moto Vlogs. Thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to talk about the Honda Grom. <laughs> I know it's kind of funny, but yeah, we'll talk about it. Why not? Uh, so a couple months back, I would say maybe like six months ago, I was looking to buy a new motorcycle. Well, not really a new one, but more like a secondary motorcycle. So I, also, I had the R6. I still have it. Uh, and I was contemplating selling the R6, spending a little bit more money, and getting a Ducati 848. Man, I always wanted a Ducati, and I thought it'd be fun. But, uh, you know, that would have cost a little bit more money, and I started thinking about it, and started thinking that I really wanted something that was more city. Like, I, had a, I wanted another bike for the city. So, my options were very limited, because I only really wanted to spend about $3,000. So I was looking to either buy a Zuma 125 scooter, which is super sick, uh, or maybe a Honda Elite scooter, uh, or maybe a Ruckus. I was thinking about a Ruckus. Uh, but then I also thought about the Honda Grom. So when I first saw the Honda Grom, I wanted one so bad. Oh my gosh, what's up, guy? Uh, I wanted one so bad. I mean, they look so cool. They're so small. I see people ripping it on it. and. Dude, I wanted one so, so, so bad. Uh, but, you know, I, I uh, somebody came to my work one time, my buddy Steve, and Steve came to my work with a Honda Grom we just bought. And I sat on it, I rode it, and I was like, whoa, this is so cool. It's like a miniature motorcycle. Uh, so I looked into buying one, but honestly, buying one costs uh, a little over $4,000. And I was like, dude, for a brand new motorcycle that, uh, you know, I, I can't take on the freeway and tops out at 60 miles an hour, I'm gonna have to spend $4,000 on. Uh, that's kind of a lot. Um, you know, I looked for it used, but used, you can only find it for like $4,000 too, because people with Honda Groms don't really ride them very much. They have like, you know, 500 or 1,000 miles on them. What the hell's this guy doing? What the fuck? Okay. Um, in the ghetto so uh you know the honda grown uh you know people had them with like a 500 or a thousand miles and they still wanted four thousand dollars for it so man that kind of turned me off on the grown so uh you know while i was reconsidering buying the ducati uh you know people kept telling me buy the supermoto the supermoto dude it's like the sickest thing you can get uh so uh i i looked into it and you know I ended up finding out that the Honda Grom and the Supermoto, Honda Grom new and the used Supermoto were about the same price. And I was like, whoa, this is uh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, so I ended up looking into the Supermoto. Now, just so you guys know what the Supermoto is, I'll, I'll pull into here so you guys can see what I'm riding. Now, the Supermoto is pretty much a dirt bike uh, with street suspension, okay? Uh, so we'll try to maybe go around the front so you guys can see this. Okay, cool. So you guys can see that? That is a super mode. Now, this is a Yamaha WR250X. La, pretty cool. Boom. Okay. I picked this one up for $3,000. Now, I put about like $1,000 into it with fairings and uh, different stuff, accessories, uh, you know, new lever, hand guards, uh, you know, different type of things. Um, you know, I put di different brakes on it. Uh, insert in the exhaust maintenance stuff pretty much solid but this was the same cost of the super mo or the, the grome the wr250 and the grome were about the same price so that's where it came down to my decision what do i want do i want a supermoto or a grome <laughs> now the reason i wanted to talk about this video is because everybody's getting a grome i swear it's like the newest hottest thing you can get here are the reasons why i didn't get a grome okay First of all, the Grom can only do 60 miles an hour max. And I mean, that's pushing it. Um, my buddy has a Zuma 125cc scooter and that does 60 miles an hour too. Uh, now the problem with that is that uh, you can't take it on the freeway. So I'm really limited to where I can go and what I can do. And a lot of people with Honda Groms, they have like pickup trucks and they, uh, and they, they just trailer the bike to like different rides or if they want to go to a canyon or if they want to go cruise the beach they put it in the pickup truck and then drive it there now i don't have a pickup truck <laughs> i have two cars and my girlfriend has a truck but that means i can't put it in go canyon riding and take it back unless i go with her so the honda grown was kind of looking a little bit dull to me only because of the fact that i couldn't take it on the freeway now in california um you know 
everything is connected by the freeways and everything's so spread out distance wise that you have to actually use the freeway for to go almost anywhere you you got to do it so what it come down to it came down to uh, Honda Grom for $4,000 from the dealer with a one-year warranty or a used WR250X. So, you know, why did I choose the WR, okay? First of all, this is a full-size motorcycle, full-size. Uh, Jake the Garden Snake has a Grom and then he has that, uh, w, uh, it's a WR450F, which is so sick, but you can't get WR450Fs legal here in California. Uh, so you gotta have uh, the, the 250X, uh, which is, slower but I mean it's a very very fun bike but the reason I chose this is because I can go anywhere on this I could take it on the freeway on the street I can take it off-road and I'm not really limited to where I can go or what I can do uh, that's one of the reasons I, I love having the supermoto this can go up and down stairs I mean yeah the the, uh, the Grom can go up and down stairs too if you want but this is like a real full-size motorcycle it can go 80 90 miles an hour Honda Grom is topped out at full throttle at 60 miles an hour you know what a burn uh so personally i think the, the, if you're looking to buy a honda grom i personally think that the yamaha wr250x yeah that's sliding sick uh wr250x is way better of a bike and personally i'd rather have a used bike that's bigger and better yeah, this guy's like, yeah, sliding that shit. <laughs> oh man, laughing. Uh, so yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather have a bike that's a little bit bigger and can rip this hard than to have uh, practically a scooter with a four-speed transmission. Now I still want a Honda Grove. They're so fucking badass. I see one all the time. Every, every time I see one, I'm just like, uh, my 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 mind gets filled with envy and jealousy and rage because I want one so bad. I want a Honda Grom. Oh! Yeah, but seriously, this makes me as happy as the Honda Grom. Uh, you know, maybe somebody could tell me different. If you got a Honda Grom, comment in the uh, in the box below and you know, let me know what you're thinking uh, about the Honda Grom. Personally, I think that the uh, that the WR250X is is a superior bike in every way shape and form uh and it can be done cheaper and personally if you're on a budget a grome is really really expensive uh, i never paid more than three thousand dollars for a motorcycle i paid three thousand dollars for this i paid three thousand dollars for my r6 i paid three thousand dollars for my bmw i'm kind of on a three thousand dollar budget i would say <laughs> and Personally, I think that's a good way to do it because not everybody has a lot of money to buy new bikes. And in my opinion, it's better to buy a bike that's cheaper and spend all your money on gear. Like, check out these Dionese gloves, man. Look at those. Fuck. Carbon fiber. They're just great. They got the, this is called the Rossi Tickler. I mean, gloves are expensive. Helmets are expensive. GoPro cameras. They're expensive. So, personally, if you, uh, if you want to ride and you're looking at a Grome, uh, consider a WR250X. Motonocity's got one. Chase on Two Wheels has got one. The Wicked Devil's got one. Uh, it's because they are amazing bikes that are so good. I'm going to do another video later on on why I bought a WR250X and maybe show off the mods and show off the bike. But these things are amazing bikes. Too bad they're not made anymore. You can only get it from uh, uh, 2008 to 2011. Uh, or 12, I believe. No, 11 or 12 is you could get the X model. You can always get the two, the R model, which is WR250R, which um, Cycle Cruiser has. He has a 250R, but he takes it like off-roading and he does all that stuff. I mean, I'm in Los Angeles. Look at this is a street right here. It's a street. Yeah, brap, brap. Yeah, the street, you know. So personally, that's why I chose the Supermoto over uh, the Grome. Well, I hope you guys like this video. And, uh, you know, if you're looking to, to choose a bike, a Grom or a Supermoto, dude, go with the Supermoto. I mean, if you only have one, unless you're an absolute badass, like Jake the Garden Snake that has a Supermoto and a Grom, that's cool, that's freaking awesome. Uh, or if you're do it with Dan, then you could, uh, you could have a Honda CBR1000 and a Grom, which is like a great combination. Uh, I have an R6 and a WR250X Supermoto, so. That's a fun combination. I know Chase on Two Wheels has that same combination, so shout out to all you guys. 
Now I want to give a shout out to this video to Chase on Two Wheels, Motonocity, Walterific, uh, Do It With Dan, um, uh, Snowcat, uh, all you guys out there, you guys are doing great vlogs, you know, peace to you guys, you guys are awesome, and I watch your stuff, I hope you guys watch mine. So thank you guys very much. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Yeah, thumbs that shit up. Yeah. Also, uh, if you want to check out more of my videos, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button. Oh, got to make sure we don't get run over here at the intersection by this person. Pull one out. Uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll put it right here. Click it. Go boom, boom, boom. We click it because, man, I appreciate your, uh, your subscribes and your likes and if you guys want me to make a video on something specific, uh, go ahead and, and put it in the uh, comments box below. Hey, I want to hear a video on this. Uh, I'll make it for you. We'll do it. Okay, guys. Thank you guys very much. Hope you guys have a safe time out there on the road. Be safe. Ride safe. Oh, fucking dick. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. There we go. Yeah, ride safe. Don't let people hit you like that bitch back there. See you guys next time. Have a great day. Yeah!